Hey everyone, today we'll be taking you through the steps of commissioning the STPX. Um, we've got the STPX 15 right here. Now there's two ways of commissioning it. One is with your laptop or tablet and the IP address. The second is via the SMA360 app. Now we have the sticker right here with the QR code and we'll be using it to commission via the SMA360 app. Let's get started. Once you've got the SMA360 app open, scan the QR code which is on the label on the inverter. With this, you'll be connected to the inverter Wi-Fi network. Once this is done, you'll be redirected to the network configuration page where you can set the connection of the inverter either via Wi-Fi or via a LAN connection. You can also check the firmware version of the inverter and update it if needed. After this, you'll be headed to the administrator registration page where you can fill in the details of either the installer or the user. It is recommended that you fill in the installer's detail and keep the username and password handy for future purposes. After this, you can assign your device a name and you can also set the STPX as either a system manager or a lower level inverter. You can also set automatic updates if needed. After this, you'll see the device list and you can add either Modbus or SMA speed wire devices. To do this, you do have to register. Please make sure that you set a system password and keep that in handy for future purposes. Once this is done, the system will search for any Modbus or Speedwire devices. And as you can see, we've found two devices. You can set the SMA energy meter for your consumption monitoring and export limiting purpose. After this, you will be headed to the country data set section where you can set the country data set based on your AS4 triple requirements. After this is setting the energy meter. You can set the energy meter as either grid supplied power or grid feed-in. After this is the Modbus section where you can set the Modbus server and its setting, followed by the active and reactive set points. For more instructions, please refer to the user manual. And that's all. Your configuration has been successfully completed. And that's how easy it was. Now, if you want to know more or if you're facing issues, just contact us via our online service center or visit our website. You can also give us a buzz and follow us on our socials to know more. Thank you.